What a weekend. A win, a goal, a, a clean sheet. You must have been delighted with how the crew game won. Yeah, of course, it was fantastic. I think we needed that together ourselves. Like, we don't feel like we've had enough points like the results we wanted recently. So it was good to turn that around and then obviously it's always great to get a clean sheet and a goal we were buzzing. So yeah, it was a brilliant day. Did you make Oh no, I just got told to put it under the crossbar on top of the keeper. So yeah, I'm aware that happens, but yeah, I wasn't aiming for goal, but yeah. Who's the most outrageous goal you've ever scored? Uh, could be one of them, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know why I'll rank it, but yeah, it could be one of them. Must be quite a special feeling though, because obviously you know there's a, there's a chance that that could, that could happen, but to score directly from a corner, it's a, it's a pretty small club of people who've done it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's something that you don't expect, but you kind of hope for when you hit it. And then a few of the boys are telling me that they knew as soon as they saw it, leave my foot, that yeah, it was going in. So, of course, I'm buzzing for it. It's kind of sore from the celebration, excited, but yeah, I don't know how much that will happen over my career. Well, you need to work on the celebration a, a little bit. Didn't, didn't quite land it, I, I, I hear. Yeah, 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 definitely do. <laughs> it's going pretty well, though, isn't it, at, at Doncaster Rovers? Let's be honest, you know, four goals in, in that game, you seem to have made a, a real impact at the club. Yeah, of course, and that's exactly what I wanted to do when I sat down with the gaffer and Cliff. That's what we spoke about. I wanted to hit the ground running and obviously increase my output, which has been happening. So yeah, it's been happy days for myself. Thankfully I can repay the gaffer for he's taking a chance on me and bring me into the club to add to his team that he's got already. So yeah, it's, it's all been good with me. I'm enjoying my football. How crucial of Grant and, and Cliff been to you in, in, in this move, having known them from, from previous clubs? Yeah, it was definitely massive for me. I think it kind of, kind of made my mind up to come and work alongside them again, or work for them again. Uh, I've obviously played with Cliff years ago when I was coming through, and I seen he was a massive help back then when I was young, a good pro to kind of set an example for of and then follow the lead for. So yeah, it was massive, and obviously I enjoyed my football and the ground at um, Hull. So yeah, it was a big, big push for me coming. In. What have they said to you since you got to the club? What have they said in terms of what they like from you? Have they taken any pressure of you? Have they given you any expectations? What have what been the advice from the, the management duo? Um, coming in, it was just come in, get yourself going, really. You wanted it to be a, a seamless kind of, kind of move. So it was come in, get yourself going. You know, I get that sort of freedom from the gaffer to go and express myself and do stuff in the final third, which kind of suits my game. But then the one thing that they did remind me of was a reaction to giving the ball away and also output. So things in the final third have to come off to something, whether it's a, a pass through, it has to get there, a shot or win a corner or something. It has to be something positive and progressive, which is obviously backing for me because I need to build it up on myself, so I feel like it's just it's worked well. I've got, I'm kind of concentrating on that, and it's it's coming off at the minute, so I'm just trying to keep it going as much as I can. Yeah, I imagine as a as a forward player, whether you're playing in that most advanced role or it's an attacking midfield role, to, to get some freedom to, to be able to, to to try a few things and move about on the pitch a bit must be music to your ears. Yeah, definitely, it's something I like to mix up my game quite a bit, but it's also getting back to. The feel I had when I was I was young coming through, which was you just got there and you enjoy it and you're you're bubbly, you're just loving it every minute of it. And I think I'm getting back to that now underneath the the gaffer and cliff. So yeah, it's brilliant for me. Do you feel like you could be one of those players that that really blossoms in at the end of your twenties and that you may well still have the best years of your career ahead of you? Oh, I hope so. I'm praying for that, but. Uh, right now, I'm concentrating on my football at the minute. I'm enjoying it, which is the most part. I've kind of been waiting to get back to this point where I'm just enjoying it and flourishing. So, hopefully, I can just take each game as it comes, carry on progressing, and really see what see what happens in the next. Yeah, imagine as well as Grant and Cliff, people like Tommy Rowe that you've spent time with at, at previous clubs. That, that must be really helpful in, in in helping you settle, particularly with someone like Tommy, who's 
experienced and, and grounded and uh, seen so much himself. Yeah, exactly. I've known Rory's another one for years. I probably played with him the first time about 10 years ago. So it's kind of the same position in playing on the left with me. So it's something that helps you settle in quickly. I know players look for that. As soon as you move into the club, you kind of look through the players and see who you can kind of attach to, to, to just help you settle everything down. But yeah, it was uh, Rowie, Woody as well, played with him before. So obviously they're a bit two big, big characters in the changing room, which are leaders in the changing room. So it was, it was good to know them. You find out the way everything's working, but then I think the rest of the boys were massive as well with me, like Joe Ironside, Joe Louis, Kirsty, Moles, all of them, Bells, they all, kind of just took to me and also that was massive help for me to get settled because then all the, the panic's done can kind of just settle in and start enjoying your football and it's, it's good the way it got going. How much of a difference have you seen in the team since you arrived at the end of, of January because it's been such a positive run over the last few weeks and, and no, you know, nobody's looking over the shoulder anymore, people are, are looking upwards and finally managed to get a number of wins on the board. Yeah, it's something that I saw. I think straight away, I think it was just things were, there was just a final bit that was missing and I think we found that together as a team, like you could see that the build up was coming, we were all kind of playing together but it just needed a bit of more confidence which I think that we've all kind of come together and, and bounced off each other to gain. But then also there's, it's not going perfect, there's, there's games that we're all pushing up, we think we should have got more. So I think it's brilliant that Everyone's pushing in the same direction, but then also we're all seeing it work and seeing the the results and the impact it's having on each other. Each other, so it's massive for us to get that kind of that reinforcement that is working, so we can just carry on pushing in that direction and keeping each other going. It's always a good sign when that things are going well, when the fans are singing, "Sign him up, sign him up." You know, always. <laughs> You've obviously getting quite a love. Do, do, can you see yourself at the club for, for longer than your current spell? <laughs> yeah, the fans have been brilliant with me since since they won. To be honest, I'm really happy with that, and that also is a big thing to help you settle and know you're doing something right, you're getting them on side. But right now, I'm just taking it as it comes. I'm enjoying my football now, so I'm just trying to stay in this in this space that I'm at at the minute of just having fun, enjoying it, and hopefully that brings more positive output for myself and from the team and then we'll go from there after that but I'm in a, I'm in a nice place at the minute, I'd like to, to stay here. Is it fair to say with your, your contract at Lincoln out of summer you, you're keeping your options open and you wouldn't rule out the possibility of, of coming back to the club next season? No, I've just got a, I've got a team for that, see I've got people that I'm working with but I leave that to them, they can do their jobs. The biggest thing for me is, like I said, getting back to that, that feel when you're when I was coming through, it was just about playing football, really, and just enjoying it. So I think I've got my headspace back to that. It's time to get kind of my body back to that and just just really have, be in that kind of bubble that you're in, confidence flowing, everything's flowing, and just really just enjoy that space because it's not often you get to that point in football, which is, I've had it when I first came in and been struggled to, to gain it. And then obviously you see the fruits from that, which is obviously the output of goals and assists that come from it because you being in a in a better space, more positive space, I think you get a better outcome from that. I imagine that, that you know, if a strong end to the season, if, if you are enjoying your football and enjoying things under Grant and Cliff, that's not going to harm any things, is it, in terms of, of options and, and just how you are? No, it wouldn't harm anything. But, and again, just, I'll leave that to, to the people that sort that out, really. Just some final thoughts, uh, Kibi, in terms of Swindon this weekend, a team very close in the table, you know, it's another team that you can kind of go above and, and move upwards. What, what kind of game are you expecting? Uh, looking forward to it, hoping for another goal from a, a, a corner again, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, all the boys are looking forward to it. I think that we've shown that from the weekend that we're all pushing in the same direction. We feel like we can go against anyone in this, t in this league. So we know it's going to be a difficult game, but we're up for it. Everyone's buzzing. See, I'm buzzing for it. So hopefully get another goal assist or something. Just really just keep the, the positive impact that I've had going. And yeah, we're all delighted to, to really go with it. And the goal from a corner won't be too bad, will it? <laughs>